Okay, we're taking a look at the kinetics, it's equilibrium nodes. We're going to go with reversible reactions. It, these are reactions that go right and left. They go both directions. The thing is, it's a state of balance between two opposing reactions that occur at the same time. These are happening simultaneously. Now the rate, all about rate, of the forward, that's left to right, and reverse, right to left, are equal. Start next to that. Meaning, H2O solid, H2O liquid, at zero degrees Celsius, we have the same amount turning to a liquid as we do to a solid. We've got a couple symbols we can write. We can do that double-headed arrow. We can do an arrow over an arrow, or the ones that I you'll see most often in my class, some half arrows like that. Now we could do this. This arrow right here means how we say it in equilibrium with A plus BC is in equilibrium with AC plus B. The amounts are not equal. The rates of the two opposing reactions are equal. The forward reaction is the same as the reverse. And our fourth is equilibrium exists under a set of particular things. Particular pieces, conditions for a reaction. Temperature. An example we've already written down. H2O solid can only happen going to H2O liquid in equilibrium at zero degrees Celsius. Pressure, we generally use standard pressure. However, other pressures can happen. Pressure affects gas. Concentration set concentration. There's a set concentration. We're not changing it throughout the reaction unless we want to put a stress on the system. Equilibrium is going to happen all on its own when we have set concentration. And here's a big new one. We have to have a closed system. It can only happen in a closed system. Now let's draw a little diagram here. This one's open. I'm going to have this circle be water. So we've got these water molecules that are relatively close together. I can't draw them all. But we also have some that are turning into a gas and they're getting out. And they're going into the atmosphere. And our closed system Let's finish this. This is H2O liquid going to H2O gas. Our closed system, like this, has a sealed lid. I'm going to show it as being shut. We still have our liquid here. And we have a few gas molecules, but they can't escape. So this one, H2O liquid, in equilibrium with H2O gas, because as those gas molecules escape, they go back in. So if I were to draw an arrow, we've got some going up here, and a few going back down into solution. Here, 
the amount evaporating is the same as the amount condensing.